Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub, and in this video, I want to talk about reverse prompt engineering. This is something I've been doing for a few weeks. I uh, just saw somebody else do a video about it recently that named it. I didn't know what to call it. I've just been it's just been something I've been doing to get the outputs I want from ChatGPT. Uh, but reverse prompt engineering is the the perfect name for it. Basically, what it involves is starting with the end goal in mind and having ChatGPT help you create the proper prompts to get to that sort of output. And this is something, like I said, I've been doing this for a few weeks now. I even showed it off briefly in a video I did a few weeks ago about using ChatGPT to create your own SEO tools. One of the tools I mentioned that I wanted to create was a regex tool that would allow somebody to create, put in terms, and it would output a regex expression that you could use inside of Google Search Console to filter data the way you wanted to. And in the prompt that I started with, I gave it the output. I told ChatGPT, this is what the I want the output to look like. And I've been using it a lot, especially in coding, to get the right code out of ChatGPT. But you can also use it when you're creating content to get better content and, and give ChatGPT specific instructions to get where you wanna go. So I'm gonna show you an example here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start a new chat. And I'm gonna start with this prompt. So I want you to reverse prompt, I, I wanna use reverse prompt engineering where you help me create prompts based on text I give you that would be optimized and ideal for producing similar content. So what we're doing here is we're kind of training ChatGPT or some people call it priming ChatGPT to get the, again, to help get it to help us create the prompts we want that are gonna give us the output that we're looking for. So, so sure, it can definitely help with that. Please provide me an example text or do you use basis for generating prompts? We are gonna do that. Um, first, I'm gonna ask it though, can you give me an example of reverse prompt engineering? And again, we're just trying to prime chat GPT here. Okay, so ChatGPT starts to give us an example. Let's say, let's say you want to generate product descriptions that are engaging and persuasive. To use reverse prompt engineering, you would start with the desired product description output and then generate prompt or input that will maximize the chances of producing that output. Here's an example of what a product description output that you might want to achieve. And it goes through and shows an example of that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start create. we're going to create something a little more advanced than a, a short product description like that. And what I did is I just picked a topic and I went to Google and did a search for what are smart notes. If you're in the PK, PKM community at all, you already know about smart notes. So smart notes is, there's a book called How to Take Smart Notes, which is based on this productivity system for taking notes and organizing notes that a, a German researcher had called uh, Zettelkasten. Um, you don't need to know that for this, but it's, it's just a process for a way to take notes. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to this second result here, and I want to copy all the text on this page. Okay, and this is the output that I, kind of output that I want. So I wanna copy this text to feed it into ChatGPT. And what I'm gonna do, rather than copying it off the page there, I'm gonna go into the Google cache and grab the text only version of this. Okay, so I don't need this stuff at the top. We're gonna go with how to take smart notes and scroll all the way down. Okay. And copy that. Now, normally what I would do here is I would copy this into a text editor so that I could remove anything. Um, sometimes on blogs, you'll find, you know, in the middle, maybe there's a couple links to related posts or, um, you know, some sort of affiliate ad or something. So I would, I would go through it just to get rid of stuff like that. But for this video, just to speed things along, I'm just gonna, gonna use it as it is. Now, I want to not just create similar output to that, but I want ChatGPT to keep relevant entities in mind in producing the content. And I want that to be part of the prompt we're gonna give it. So what I'm gonna tell it is, what I'm gonna tell it is I want you to extract the most semantically relevant entities from this text. I'm gonna put text in curly brackets. It's just gonna make it easier to reference later. You'll, you'll see in a second how we use that. 
and we're going to put the entities into a chart. Okay, so what we want is a chart that numbers them in the first column, and you'll see in a bit why we want to number them. I want to list them in the second column, and then I want their salient scores in the third column. If you're not familiar with salient scores, it's basically just a way of signifying the importance of the entity in relation to the document. And I forgot to include the text. So let's edit this real quick. I forgot the most important part. Um, we're going to copy and paste the text in here. So I'm just going to put text equals this. Um, going back to salient scores, they're a way to just list the importance in relation to a document that you're analyzing of those entities. Okay, perfect. So we have a list of, of these. I could tell it to go ahead and list more, but this, this is good enough for what we're gonna, just for this example. In most cases, I probably would have it list a few more, but we're gonna use these. So I'm just gonna paste the next prompt we're gonna use in here. Now, what we're gonna tell it is, I want you to reverse prompt engineer the text, give me a single prompt that would create a similar output. The tone and writing style should be included in the prompt. The entities, and this is why we numbered them, I want to use number one through number three. We're gonna skip number four and number five and number six through 10. Should also be mentioned as needing to be included in the output in the prompt. So basically we're telling it that we want the prompt to mention these entities and that they need to be included in the text that we're gonna want you to write. So I tried to tell it not to include number five here, but it did still include it. And that's probably because it's heavily emphasized in that particular article. Um, I could change it to the instructions to tell it to exclude that from the, the prompt. But you can see here, it's a pretty detailed prompt. It says, write an article explains how to improve note-taking skills using the Zettelkasten method and smart notes. The article should include an overview of the Zettelkasten method and how it works, as well as detailed explanation of smart notes and the three being types, fleeting notes, literature notes, and permanent notes. The article should also describe how to take smart notes in four easy steps, including capturing fleeting notes, making literature notes, creating permanent notes, and storing them effectively. Make sure to mention the importance of selecting contextual keywords and finding meaningful connections between notes. In addition, the article should provide examples of how to put these ideas into practice, including the use of Scrintall as a visual note-taking app, use a practice and accessible writing style that is both thought-provoking and inspiring as exemplified in the book, How to Take Smart Notes by Sanka Ahrens, which should be referenced throughout the article. So pretty cool prompt there. And you can see if you go back and look at these, like it, it mentions all these entities that we told it to. So now what we would do is just copy that, paste it in there, and it's gonna go to work. Okay, so there it wrote all of that. What I would probably do at this point is I would want to, if I was gonna you know, try to use this content, one thing I probably would have added to this prompt that it didn't include was using relevant headers. So I would probably tell it to rewrite the content. Actually, let's do the output using relevant, or uh, adding relevant headings to sections such as and I just give it an example what are smart notes as well as expanding the content to include more detail and then I would let it go from there so um, and you can see it's going to add headers in here now and rewrite uh, the content, just making it a little longer, more detail. Um, and then from there, you know, you could human edit it, you could expand on sections, do whatever you want with it. But that's how you reverse prompt engineer in ChatGPT. And you can do this with, um, I mentioned, I showed you an example of how I did it in code. You can do this with product descriptions. You would just tell it that you want to reverse prompt engineer product descriptions and you give it an example or two of those product descriptions some um, 
similar instructions just like we, we just went through and then it'll create similar it'll give you the prompt that you need to create product descriptions for your products that are similar in tone and style to what you fed it that's it for this video if you haven't yet make sure you head over to the seopub.com subscribe for the mailing list there where i send out tips like this once a week also if you found this video useful please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the youtube channel I'll catch everyone in the next one